Hello, I'm going to show you how to install CoolSpice, which is a Windows application uh, for any 307, uh, installing it on Linux. Uh, and this should work for Mac as well, um, except the way you install Wine would be different. Anyway, first go to the 307 page, uh, which will be the first link in the description, and download CoolSpice. We can just open it. It's a zip file, which has uh, an MSI. So I'll just put it on the desktop for now. All right, and then the second thing we need to download is the Wine Mono MSI. So you go to this link, which is the second link in the description. Scroll down to the bottom, get the most recent version. And we can save that on the desktop as well. So now uh, we're going to have to go and install Wine. So on Linux, this is sudo apt install Wine stable. But we also need the 64 bit version of Wine, so we'll also do Wine 64. Um, I'll point it out later, but with the 32 bit version, it still works, but some of the features aren't there. So the 64 bit is the one we need. And this um, process will be different on, for example, Mac OS, but you can just look up, uh, you can actually go to winehq.org and, and install it that way. Okay, so after that's done, we need to go to the folder where we downloaded these, which is the desktop in this case, and now we want to install uh, first the cool spice and then the wine mono package. So it's wine, start, cool, and then you can hit tab, that will auto-complete the file, and hit enter. Alright, so just go through the wizard as normal. It does have a C++ prerequisite that uh, it'll pop up. And so this is the 64-bit um, one. And then it's going to ask us again for the 32-bit one, which is a little strange. But yeah, just go through this pop-up thing twice. Let's see, this is the 32-bit. Done with that. And it has this warning, but just uh, say yes. I suppose it didn't detect it or something. Okay, and now we can hit enter a few times to uh, get rid of these messages. And now we got to install the Wine Mono package. So Wine 64, start, Wine, and then hit tab, Wine Mono, the MSI. So it doesn't take very long. Once it's done, we have uh, Cool Spice installed. We can start it with this shortcut that appears. Um, not to be confused with the LNK or the MSI. Actually, we can delete these now that we're done installing it. There we go. I just start it up. Now it's a little bit slow because this is a virtual machine on my actual uh, machine it's a lot faster so don't worry about that so as you can see all the sub applications work just fine if you had installed it with 32-bit wine the plotter would not work correctly but as you can see it works And yeah, that's about it. That's how to install 
cool spice on Linux with wine. Alright.